Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea from the No Shame Income blog. And today in this video, what I wanted to do is actually give you guys a walkthrough of how I would go about setting up a opt-in form or lead capture funnel um, for um, you know your blog or website, whatever it is that you're really trying to do. Um, in this video, I'm gonna go over a simple example using a tool um, by the Thrive Themes creators. It's actually called Thrive Leads. And I'm gonna show you how I set this up um, how it, I only implemented this just three days ago and I've already generated 30 leads um, or I believe it's a little over 20 leads either way it's still really cool um, I'm gonna show you how I set all this up how you guys can go out there and do the same and this will be something really valuable for those of you who you know are setting up some sort of opt-in you want to start generating some emails for your email list so the first things first I'm over here on my blog no shame income .com. And you can see this is the main opt-in I have that just kind of follows the user. It's got a fixed um, property that allows it to kind of stay with you. So if I go into a blog post, it's always going to be in the sidebar and it's always going to follow people as they read through content. So it's kind of just following them and really uh, making it hard to, to really get away from their attention. So if they're reading a post, then there's a good chance that um, you know they're probably going to see this and be reading it at some point or another and just being like, what is this? So what I've done is I've decided instead of giving away, you know, a lot of people give away, hey, this ebook, blah, 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 and you know, that's been around for such a long time. I decided to give away um, what I actually consider one of my flagship courses. Um, it's what I call the ultimate online blueprint for creating simple courses. And I put something here, you know, it's a little bit, in a way it seems like you know, you see these people, how I made $2,000 in two days or some bullshit thing. But in this case, um, I don't actually mention a time frame. It's very legitimate. I have earned over uh, 24000 It's actually probably more like over thirty or 35000 realistically um, from selling online courses over the last couple of years um, using platforms like Udemy and Skillshare. So I'm basically giving away a free code to get access to a course that's over three hours long um, giving away tremendous value um, doing this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I set this up. Um, the first thing I'll actually show you the tool I'm using. I'll just jump over there really quick. If you head to thrivethemes.com, I'm actually going to leave a link below in the description. You can check out Thrive Themes. If you decide to pick this up um, through my link, I will earn a small commission and I definitely appreciate that. But they make uh, themes and plugins, and what we're going to be utilizing is something called Thrive Leads as part of their package. Um, they offer really reasonable rates on some of these tools as well in comparison to something else like a lead pages or any of these other opt-in forms. You can see big name people like John Lee Dumas are actually mentioning them. So if you go down to, let's see, what are they actually looking for the pricing? Conversion focused designs, demo. Wow, you think it'd be easier to figure out how to oh, get your copy. There we go. So unlimited sites, you're basically looking at 97 bucks, which is an amazing deal. I mean, you can put this on as many sites as you want. So that's generally what I would be doing if you're going to be grabbing this. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to jump right into the blog and building this. So if we head into the back end, Basically, you're going to have the Thrive dashboard, and from there, you're going to go to Thrive Leads. And here you can see you get some stats. So um, I don't know why. I guess it's giving me unique impressions. It says 23, but I don't know if that's accurate. This is like a global stat thing. I think it's also based on a certain specific set amount of time. I recently reset my stats just a few days ago because I changed some things, and I wanted to get a better idea of how my new changes were working and not skew it with old metrics. Um, again, I'm also using an API into a tool called ConvertKit, and that's working out really well for me. So basically what I wanted to do in this video is just kind of walk you through um, how I set up what's called a lead group. So a lead group is essentially just a grouping of different things I could do. Um, if I click into my main one here for No Shame Income, you can see I've, I've got all these different styles. Um, I'll play an example one really quick. So you got Shane, you know, he's showing you like this ribbon form type that you could add to the top of your blog so it would kind of follow visitors as they go. Um, I didn't want to go overboard. Obviously, if you did every single one of these things at once, it would just be complete overkill. 
So I decided to go with the light box, um, which is a pop-up. A lot of people hate pop-ups, but I'm going to show you how I set this up. And um, you can see that this is actually converting way better than the widget on the side. I've only had this up. Um, this test has just been the last four days from the recent kind of split testing since I reset all my stats. And I've already generated 20 leads off of um, uh, off of this. So 6.6 .6 conversion. That's really good on a pop-up box. So um, this is definitely working. Um, again, you have options here. You can say display on mobile, um, the status, whether or not it's on, and then you could reset stats. So what we're going to do is if you hit edit, basically you now have the ability to create the specific form that you want to use. Um, I already have one here, so I'll show you the one that I set up. Um, and in fact, before we do that, let's go over this. So you can see for this specific form how many impressions you have, how many, conver how many uh, conversions you got, the conversion rate. And then here's kind of the trick. Um, you have what's called a trigger, and you have some different options here in terms of what you can do. You could say, um, let's show you know, the light box as soon as the page loads. That's not going to work. People are just going to click away and be like, you know, they, they find me from an organic search or something, and they hit my page, and I'm immediately trying to get them to do something. That's just not going to work. Um, so I don't do that. Show after a certain period of time. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, you could also do show when the user scrolls to a specific part of the content. So if you wanted to set up a whole separate um, section, maybe a certain blog post, you wanted a specialized form to like appear, you know, hey, if you love this article, sign up for my newsletter and blah, blah, blah. That's where you'd want to use something like this. Um, a percentage when a user clicks on a certain element or when the user is about to exit the page. That's another really good one. But in some ways, you know, I like to kind of do this and have a certain period of time as well as when the user reaches the bottom of the page that's a good one too so when they're kind of scrolling through they finally get to the end and then now you're pitching them and at least they've gotten to know you and seen that you're not just you know trying to get them on an email list instantly but right now I'm doing show after a certain period of time and what I've done is set it after 30 seconds so this gives people a really good amount of time to you know go on the blog click into a blog post, read through a good chunk of that blog post, and then be potentially hit with an offer. And then I'm also using the smart exit feature, which if someone goes up to the top and they try to hit on the X, it will actually um, pop up the box as they're trying to, you know, kind of giving some intent to leaving. So this is a really, really nice, uh, well-developed system. The other thing you can do here is put in a display frequency. So you can say that, um, if the visitor is shown you know this pop-up and then maybe they come back to the site like two days later they're not gonna get the pop-up again but if they come back like five days or more then they're actually going to get the pop-up um, if set to zero the pop-up will be displayed all the time I didn't want to keep hitting people you know if I have regular visitors I don't want to keep annoying them with pop-ups and stuff like that so I said every five days I figure that's enough of a reminder um, if people are gonna come back and check out the site again then that's a good way to do it in my opinion um, and then you kind of have different animations that you could do as well. Like you could zoom in. It gives you a little demo there. Zoom out, rotational, slide in. Um, you got all kinds of stuff. 3D, bounce in. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. I just left the default of zoom in. That's fine. So now here you can do edit design. And this is the greatest part about this builder. Um, you essentially get the ability to use all of the customization options here from the regular Thrive Themes package inside of Thrive Leads. You basically have a little form here that you can go in um, and you can edit everything. You can edit buttons, text, um, you can connect, you know, I can connect my actual email to a service. You can see here I've gone in and I've got specific settings so I can say yes I want the field to be called name, I want the email field to be called email, I don't want a phone number, I do not want to require a name, I just require the email. And then I have a redirection that I'll actually show you. Well, we'll I'm going to copy this now so I can show you this as well. We'll come back to that. But um, you can have different actions. So as soon as they fill this out, um, what is the action that's taken? So I'm sending them to a thank you page. I'll show you that next. Um, but essentially what I did is I created something really simple. So I'm just giving them a captivating headline and then just sort of a reassurance um, you know, learn how I generated over $24,000 selling online courses. Subscribe now and get free access to my video course showing you how to profit with simple short courses. So really, really easy, um, you know, really straight to the point and it's definitely working. So really what you can also do with this is if you come in, um, you can choose specific templates. 
Um, you've got all kinds of different templates to pick from. So you can see I picked pick this one here, like box set um, 022. It already kind of had my colors there, like kind of the red and white style I'm going with. So I just stuck with that. But you've got all kinds of different options here. Um, here's even one that has kind of like a video on it. That might have been a little bit better one because technically I'm promoting a video course. So you got tons of templates to work from. Um, there's even like saved ones. If you worked on it, you could save it. And you've even got some multi-step ones like yes or no. Uh, lots of different stuff that you can be doing to really get creative to generate some leads. Um, do you want to get more customers? Do you want to double your traffic in the next 30 days? They give you some really nice examples. And then they even have like a cloud account. I think you can connect, um, you know, and get some of this other stuff from your own account. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, once I set up my white box, I also went in and set up a widget. So I'm gonna go back and show you that. If we go back to the main Thrive Leads section, um, what I actually did is set up the widget. So once I set up the widget, um, essentially the, with the widget, they give you uh, specific options in terms of what you can do. And the widget is very easy. It's just a drag and drop. I'll show you right now really quick. If we go into widgets, there's a Thrive opt-in widget, and you can drag that in. Um, we'll see here, or I'm sorry, Thrive leads widget, and you'll be able to choose the lead group, and then you can choose to make it fixed. So that's already automatically built in to the platform, and that's what's going to give me that sidebar opt-in. Now from there, um, we can also do the, the same thing on the design. I chose to do display immediately on page load since it is a widget. It's being shown in the sidebar. We want it to be there all the time. Um, if we click on edit design, same idea. You basically get specific widget designs. And you can see I went with this kind of long form widget. So, um, you know, it's got like the video play. It might be a little bit too big, but, you know, either way, um, I haven't really had enough time to test it. And again, you know, you can play around. You have the same idea. You've got lots of different templates to pick from. Um, I think this is, I went with this one down here, widget set 040 with the kind of video play button on there. So you got all kinds of stuff you could play with. And a lot of these are really built and designed for blogs. So really, really awesome to be able to have some of these templates just ready to go for you. Now, uh, once I've done that, all I had to do is obviously drag in the, the widget in my appearance editor there for widgets. And then I'm all set from there. Uh, the other thing that I did was I created what's called a short code. And I essentially did the same exact thing that um, I used with my main like pop up. And this is a piece of code that I can insert into a specific post. So if we go to, I'm actually going to go back to my home page. And I believe I put it in this July income update post. Um, yeah, so here it is here. So I was able to insert this PHP code. And, you know, I said, um, I also just spent some time this weekend working on a new newsletter offer using Thrive Leads. You can get my three hour plus course on how I earn online with courses, which as you will see below makes up the largest portion of my income online. So then again, I'm like throwing this at them. It's almost impossible to miss it. And I do it right before I start digging into the content of this email, which is all about how I make income. And the great thing about this is that um, as people, you know, they might see this and, you know, they're, they're realizing that it's there and then they start reading like, wow, he's making $200 from course most this month and amazing.com. You made another $200 another almost thousand dollars from Skillshare, another $500 from Udemy. So man, like, you know, you can see I'm really doing well with these online courses every month. So if someone is interested in that, that's where they'd want to go back and sign up for this. Um, pretty much that's really all I've done with uh, the Thrive Content Builder. Obviously there's a ton more that you can do, um, but I thought I'd show you this in this video. Last thing that I did, I wanted to show you is how I set up my thank you page. Um, if you head over, I used a custom Thrive Themes template. It was very simple. It was made for video. Um, it was specifically a thank you uh, page. And I actually took a lot of the fluff out of it, a lot of the extra stuff that was up there, like logos and things like that. And I left the default. Thank you for signing up. You know, this is what someone gets as soon as they sign up. Please watch the video below to get access to your free course. I threw in a thumbnail here that I made with a tool called Canva. And then it's just a play button, which this is actually custom, this play button. It's kind of cool. So you can hit play and it's just a video of me. Hey guys, so there's me. I just talk for like two minutes and basically tell them what they're going to get. And I say click here to create your free account on Skillshare. This special coupon will give you 100% free access to my course. And the great thing about this whole setup too is that if someone decides to upgrade their account on Skillshare, I actually get a little referral bonus of $10 
and I think for every 10 referrals, I get like an extra hundred dollars. So it's really um, a nice little way to give some value and at the same time get some new students over on Skillshare. Um, they'll see that I have lots of other courses, things like that. So um, giving them some reassurance, you know, what they're going to get in the course. I don't really go crazy into it since I'm already giving it away. And I say thank you again for subscribing. I look forward to providing you tons of value. And then the next thing I do is in my first email, um, I actually go through, you know, sending a, a initial email that says, hey, you know, thanks for signing up. Here's a link again. So that way I know that they're going to get it. They get it on this page. And then at the same time, they're also getting the opportunity to get it from the email I send to them automatically from my email autoresponder. Um, in another video I'm going to be putting together in the future, I'll be going over um, how I set up some of my email systems and maybe showing how I link in all of this with the API for ConvertKit, which is currently one of my favorite platforms for you know, managing an email list and just managing um, your email subscribers. Thanks again for watching and be sure again to check the links below. If you like my videos, um, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. That would be awesome. And again, if you do decide you want to pick up Thrive Leads and the Thrive Themes package, I am leaving a link below. If you decide to pick that up through me, I do earn a little bit of a bonus and I definitely appreciate it. Thank you.